Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. Okay, I gotta explain this quickly first. On I I uploaded my Sonic Adventure Let's Play and it had some copyright on it, so I am not going to do that unless I find a way to not get the copyright on it. So for now I'm just gonna solely play this. Uh, unless I pick a different game to play at the same time. Anyway. Uh, flashback. You know, Ragna, you've been training with me for quite a while now. I guess. I've had to plow through a bunch of useless crap, but I have to thank you nonetheless. That's so. Master, it's time for me to go. All right, then. I got him involved, after all. I'm sorry, I really am. You can hate me if you want. I promised I'd never use it again, but... I'm just gonna borrow this one more time. My goodness. Sentimentality from you? Or perhaps you feel regret? Rachel. Yes? You know what happened to Jin and Saya, right? Yes, I do. Is what Master said true? I can intervene no more than he can. I know. And you wish to fight even so? Yeah. Something I have to do. Oh. It will not be pleasant. After that brief glimpse of hell, how could what I've decided to do possibly be any worse? The path you've chosen will have more than its fair share of misery. I figured as much. You're back! Yeah. Sorry to make you wait. Huh. Didn't think you were here too, Rachel. It is always a pleasure to see you, Jubei. All right, Ragna. I'm giving you this. Huh? A jacket? And a sword? I had the sister look after him for a while. Think you got the patience to listen to a long story from an old man? I don't know if I do. You have a long story to tell? <laughs> Holy shit, like that's never happened before. Huh. <laughs> True. Long time ago, back when the Black Beast was running around, causing trouble, something happened that a lot of people don't remember. For about a year, the son of a bitch didn't do nothing. Just sat there. That year gave us, the six heroes, enough time to find and figure out Ars Magus. Without that year, I reckon humanity and every living thing on Earth would be long dead by now. Indeed. And then? Well, the thing is, that year wasn't just a lucky break. It was a goddamn man-made miracle. Made by one man. One friend. And who's that? He called himself... Blood Edge. Blood Edge. I told you about the Black Beast, right? Monster would eat any sort of life. Didn't matter. All the thing did was kill and eat. A critter like that might as well be fear itself, the way it makes you feel. But he never gave up. Never stopped fighting. Nobody knew. Didn't matter how desperate things got, he never gave up hope. He bought us the time we needed. Good for him. Cost him his life, but... Oh. He did what had to be done. Should've known. I could do nothing but watch. I ain't never met no one more deserving of being called a hero. This sword and this jacket were his. I know they both feel... heavy. Yes, they are. If you can feel that weight, then there ain't nothing more I can teach you. From here on out, you're on your own, kid. Yeah. Whatever happens, you remember it's the path you chose. Accept responsibility for what you do. And don't ever make the mistake of thinking that the power of the Azure Grimoire is yours. 
I know, you've only said that about a million times already. <laughs> what? Can't bring yourself to call me master one last time? Ah, you never change, do ya? We ain't gonna cross paths again anytime soon, kid. When the time comes, I reckon we'll see each other again. But until then, this is goodbye. Goodbye, And he took off, huh? No. Oh, you going to cry? No. I better take off as well. Later. Farewell. Ragnar the Blood Edge. How ironic that the only one left standing before a church should be me. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, already the same point. Rachel, I know you're watching. Hey, Rachel, Rachel! Would you be so kind as to cease your yelling? My ears are quite delicate and perfect, you know. Sure. Ow! What are you so pissed about? God damn it, stop hitting me in the head! Ugh! You spit! How common! How disgusting! I am always watching you, am I? How sad to have such an inflated sense of self purpose. To answer your question with your own crude vernacular, I am pissed because you seem to believe I am a stalker. I am anything but. Well, I mean, I just figured since there's no one around... No one around? My god, what sort of hideous deviant are you? Please, keep your fantasies in that rotting mass you seem to believe is a head. Why, I can scarcely stand to be around someone who harbors such sickening desires. What the hell is that supposed to mean? The second I let you get a word in, you immediately start in with abuse. Don't speak to me. I fear I may contract whatever grotesque malady has invaded your body. Goodness knows it is likely infectious. I ask you then which one of us is at fault. I believe you know the answer. I have no freaking clue what you're talking about. Ragnar, please. I have asked you a question. Oh, okay, okay, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the most convincing of apologies, but yeah. I suppose I can accept it. This time, be thankful for my mercy. Okay, okay. God. Now, what is it that you require? You have summoned me here, which is no small imposition for a lady as constantly occupied with important matters as I. If this is not a matter of terrible import, I fear the consequences for you will be dire. All right, how's this for important, bunny leech? I was eating when a Murakumo unit appeared out of nowhere. And, to add to the insanity, the owner was that... What's her name from Sector 7? Kokonoe. I suspected as much. What was that? You knew? A warning, Ragnar. That petulant child does not always employ methods which are, shall we say, rational. Yeah. I doubt she realizes just how far her obsessions have taken her. You, of all people, have the stones to call someone irrational and obsessed? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, that bitch pulled off a spatial transfer. Only someone really powerful, or you, could pull something like that off. Unfortunately, Ragnar, I cannot answer your question. I know the answer, but it is not something that I shall have the opportunity to share. Again with the cryptic statements. Then how about this one? Before she broke off contact, she mentioned Noel Vermilion. What is she after? And what the hell is true successor of the Azure Grimoire supposed to mean? Why, I should imagine that particular phrase speaks for itself. That foolish, incompetent child is the successor to the true Azure. She will quite possibly become the Eye of the World. You told me before that my Azure Grimoire was fake. Indeed, I did. So then? I told you the truth. Did you think otherwise? So I'm a fake. 
Then why did you waste your time saving me? Whether you are an imitation or the genuine article is hardly the issue. So once again, why? Your eyes. My eyes? What about them? You wanted to live, so I obliged you. I don't remember any of that. Whatever the case, it looks like I'm pretty much useless to you guys then. No, Ragnar. The world most certainly has need for you. You are the destroyer. Dun dun dun! Destroyer? Did I not say so? Yes. You are the one person with the capacity to destroy the order that grips this world. This pointless, disgusting order. Order? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have come this far. I may as well tell you. This world has gone mad, but it attempts to stabilize itself by repeating history over and over. And over. The force and which over. maintains this stability is order. It can manifest as anything. So long as it exists, so can the world. The world desires an ordered existence and will go to great lengths to maintain such. But you, you are a destroyer, a threat to that order. And as such, the world sees you as a threat to be eliminated. <sighs> what does the human body do when it falls ill? Huh? Do you really think I'm that stupid? Your immune system reacts to and fights off any bacteria that's in your body. All you have to do is eat and sleep and eventually you'll get better. Yes, your body will create antibodies. This mad world does the same. In this case, that antibody is Jin Kisaragi. What the... Noel is one of the few with the power to calm the forces of order. But that power is not what Terumi is after this time. Then what the hell is that dumbass Terumi after? Oh, I believe I've told you enough for one day, Ragnar. Nah, now that I've explained the situation to you, I suggest that you refrain from any further involvement. You may leave the rest to me. What? Where the hell did that come from? You cannot defeat Terumi. He is... It is difficult to explain. I will simply say it would be impossible for you to win, and leave it at that. Listen, Rabbit, just cut the crap! You're telling me to just stay out of it and watch? I never want to go through that again! Ragnar, you... Get the hell out of my way, Rachel. I could give a rat's ass if I'm fake or not. As I just said, I never want to go through that bullshit again! Very well, Ragnar. Clearly your pig-headedness will book no opposition. At least do me the favor of showing me your determination. Show me how determined you are to destroy the order that grips this world. Woo! Battle time! <coughs> this is probably going to end badly. The will of fate is turning! Rebel 1! Action! Counter! What are you to Are you an idiot? Haven't you had Inferno Inferno was that? This ain't exactly a Carnage! Yeah! Did it! Thankfully. I see. You still wanna say something? Oh, no. Nothing. Go and finish your story. What the hell's going on? You're being awfully nice today. Do you yep. think so? I see no difference in my behavior. Liar. I'm sorry, did you say something? You, gentle and forthcoming? That is possibly, no, no, it is the biggest load of crap I have ever heard in my life. Is that so? Then I shall give you the abuse and direction you so oh clearly desire. Silence that limp meat sack you call a mouth and leave. See that you do not allow yourself to be distracted by something shiny. Or I fear you shall arrive too late. Yeah, thanks for nothing. One problem, though. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Must I do everything for you? Go to the top of Kogatsuchi. I believe you will find both Noel and Teremi waiting for you there. 
Well, that would make I sense. See. Hey, what's with you? I beg your pardon? Nothing. It's just that you look really calm and relaxed. Just a second ago, you were really going off on me. I simply felt like hmm. putting my trust in you. Huh? Did you just say something? I didn't catch it. I said nothing. I know it is difficult for you to concentrate hard enough to understand speech, so I will be quick. Be careful. Teremi is unlike anything you have ever faced before. I kind of guessed that already. Thanks, Rachel. I'll see you later. I confess I do not look forward to the occasion. I shall endeavor to enjoy my tea in the interim. Um... I... I think I'll just end it here. So, next time we'll be continuing on. So, goodbye everybody!